Okay, here we go. This is not the best lighting. There's probably gonna be barking and everything like that, but I'm going to show you the reverse push through teasers that my mentor has been giving all of us at the studio lately, which I think is fabulous. I'm gonna go through just a bunch of different variations that you can do, then you can mix it up and kind of pick your own journey. It's really important that you have something that is about the same height as your mat. I have my reformer box out there. If you think you're going to push or kick that around, maybe put some weights in the bottom of it. If you have a Cadillac that's tall enough, you can push your chair up next to it and that would be a good option, but no matter what you have there. <clears throat> to get yourself lined up, you wanna be in a place where you can place your feet on top of your box or your legs and scooch forward or your chair. Where you need to be is in a place where you can hang on and your shoulders aren't rounding and it's not pulling, pulling you forward. And here you can start with a teaser one with the legs down. You can start to curl up and as you curl up, you wanna go all the way up until you have loose spring here. Then as you come down, it's just like your roll up or your roll down. You put your waistband down and the rest of your legs until your head hits. You can do that you know, maybe three times where you go up and you go down and then you can go up and you get right to the top, little tiny pumps. But we're talking maybe an inch and then bring it down. Five, three, five, five is going to be plenty there. Then you can start working on your one leg. So as you come up, you look, find your foot, and bring that up to eye level and bring that down. Now you can do two or three on that side and then you can switch to the other side or you can alternate. You can come up and still do those little tiny pulses. So that's an option. Again, you get to play around with any option that you want. I'm already feeling this. Then let's say we do one leg. We come up, we bring the leg up. Then maybe we do a little lower and lift as we still have just like We've just closed the spring up there. And then you come down on that side. I'll do one on the other side so that I'm even, just three to five, really lifting up as if we could just take our arms off. And then we take the leg down with the head. Now, you can also do your full teaser here. So as you come up, both legs can come up. And again, you can do all the things where you do your little tiny presses, little, little tiny lower and lifts, all of that. You can practice coming down and landing your feet and your head at the same time. All right. Then you want your box to be close enough or your chair to be close enough that you can get your feet down on top of it. I got right into my box, so it fell over. So that's another reason to maybe weight it down. You want your box to be close enough that you can put your feet on top of it with your legs bent. So we'll come back and then I'll put my feet on top here. I'll roll up, feet are still down. And then when I get right to that spot where the spring is closed, take your right leg up, left leg up, right leg down, left leg down, and roll it down. And your series will be that next time you come up Lift the left, lift the right, take the left down, take the right down, and then roll it down. And you can play around with these variations as well, where you take the right up, left up, and maybe then you try and get those legs to land at the same time. Okay, so you ha can have um, a lot of different fun variations. You can go up and pick the legs up and put them down and up and put them down while you're up there. You can take it up, do little pumps, then take the legs down. I'll show that one as well. That one's kind of fun. So let's roll that up and see what that's like. I just close the spring. I take one leg up, the other leg up. I do little, little tinies here, maybe five. Then I put the legs down and then bring it back down. And then you'd switch and do that other side. So I hope you had fun with that. Let me know how it goes.